This video is about M1 Carbine magazines, their types, and uh, some tricks and maintenance. All right, these are M1 Carbine magazines. The first one's World War II issue, 15 round, and this one's an aftermarket 30 rounder. Um, one of the differences that need to be talked about first is the area right here. This is called the follower. This follower is World War II vintage, which has a ramp, which the bolt will close um, when the last round is in the chamber and fires. Then you hear the click. This one holds the bolt open uh, position after the last round is ejected. Um, you'll have to recycle right after that once you're loading a new magazine. But it gives you a little bit more heads up as far as uh, your rounds. So this is an early type 1 magazine and the way you can tell is by looking at the bottom the bottom is flat versus a type 2 magazine which is has a reinforcing rib through it that's the only difference they're both World War II vintages okay now one of the things that I talk about or I go to gun shows or I hear people say oh you know I'm having problems with my rifle and I try to find the cheapest answers of what's what's going on with their um, with their weapon and one of the things is the feeding the actual operation they'll say it's not operating right but it's actually the feeding problem and one of the things that happens is you go to gun shows and you'll see this I'm gonna try to show it to you best as possible if you look clearly right in this area right here the back of the follower is lower everything works this one works too but this follower is is down further inside the um, inside the body of the magazine, and what this is from is the spring on the inside is facing the wrong way, and I'm going to show you what I mean. What I do is I take just a nylon piece of plastic, pull up on the corner, put your thumb pressure down here, pick up and slide forward. Keeping your thumb over top. Of the area pull the, the bottom of the magazine out or the the, uh, the cover off if you look this part here is forward where the bolts would be going in through the top like this and you can see how the bolts actually sitting there now even though I got pressure in the magazine see that see how there's there's a problem take the spring out Make sure that the, the top portion of the spring is to the rear. Even without the bottom in, see how the round is sitting in there properly now? And that's one of the, the reasons why a lot of people have actual feeding problems, and, but they're thinking it's an operation problem or stove pipe and those kinds of things. You should have a little slack come out the bottom. Should be good tension to the spring. Okay. The inside of the magazine should be always clean. Don't drop them in the dirt if you can help it. Obviously, you tactical guys, you don't care, but you need to maintain them properly by cleaning this area out, keeping it dry. Never oil the inside of a magazine because that's where a lot of the crud will, will stick to the oil and follow up the inside of your magazine. Okay? To close it, you got to put the, the detents to the inside because they stop at the back of the magazine. Putting your thumb over it. Push it in until it clicks, and you're done. Now this area in the back is fully up. Okay. On the outside, you usually just do a little oil. If there's a little corrosion to it, put a little oil in a uh, 4 out steel wool, clean it off, and keep the outside with a little bit of oil. Also, these areas right here, make sure they're not dented in, and make sure there's no burrs on them. And these areas right here, you might have to do a little filing to make sure they operate smoothly. Other than that, that's about it for the M1 Carbine magazines.